all right everybody welcome back to orange truck outlaws today we are going to do the three blind mice bad to the bone bone shaker custom so here is a look at what we're going to start with here pretty basic uh pretty basic bone shaker here nothing uh nothing too fancy we're gonna get this bad boy drilled out drilled apart we're going to see what we can do customize this thing got a couple ideas in mind here I'm um, thinking, uh, thinking engine swap, definitely a new paint job, and since we're going to do an engine swap and a wheel swap, um, we're going to get rid of these old exhaust pipes on these uh, bone shakers, I'm thinking some kind of crazy exhaust, or at least some kind of custom at least, some chrome pipe somewhere maybe, uh, we're just going to see where it takes us here after, uh, after we get this thing apart and kind of get things rolling here, so get our post drilled out and get those little rings popped off if, uh, if that's what you gotta do get in here with the screwdriver and pop that base off and uh, I guess we'll get down to business here get this thing cut up get them wheels off we're going to uh, strip all that chrome paint off of the interior by popping that into a little jar of some super clean that'll eat that chrome right off in no time and we'll get that bad boy down to all black and be able to mess with it. Here's a look at our body. We're going to um, get that hole in the middle opened up for a big old blower motor. So we got that thing filed out. We got our interior stripped and we got the middle cut out for the new motor. Uh, should fit pretty good in there. Uh, it should uh, we got that big old blower motor kind of kind of cut out it, it does look a little ridiculous and um, does fill up a lot of space in the engine compartment and looks a little unrealistic but still looks kind of cool so anyway we were talking earlier about uh, some kind of custom exhaust I did take a little bit of brass tubing bent up a little exhaust um, here and I was thinking I was thinking some kind of like smokestacks behind the uh, cab so that's what we're going to work towards here. I got um, I got this tubing bent up. I'm going to try to fit it through here. And one thing I did do <clears throat> is I, I I bent the tips of the pipes to kind of to kind of angle back a little bit and slash cut them. But I had a little trouble fitting them through the uh, chassis and through the body. So it did take a little bit of finagling, but um, we'll finally work it through there, and it and it made it. So what we wanted to have have the look here was basically the exhaust coming um, down through the bottom and underneath, and then um, you know uh, up and up under um, the the interior and and out the back behind the cab and kind of like a an angle slash cut to it. So that was kind of the idea. I thought it looked I thought it looked pretty cool. Seeing uh, seeing the pipes in a little different manner uh, than usual with these with these bone shakers, and they usually stick out the sides. So you can get a get a kind of a look here what what I'm thinking with the uh, with the exhaust, and it should look pretty cool. I think once I get them things painted all chromed up, and once I get the body chromed or uh, painted up, and the chrome ought to pop. And we're just gonna test fit our engine in here and kind of get a little look see of, of how things are looking here before we move on. Well, you can see that big old motor sticking out. It looks pretty cool. I do have some issues on the uh, on the side of the engine compartment. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, plan is possibly you know some wires or something. I'm not sure, but we got our body stripped off, um, paint stripped off there out of the sandblaster, and we're going to go into the wire wheel wire wheel booth here and get it all cleaned up. And uh, we'll get it uh, after we get all the everything cleaned off. It we'll we'll wash it off with some warm soapy water, let that dry, and then uh, we'll check out and make sure there there's no touch up uh, filing that needs done. There, there's no um, you know dye lines or whatever in the in the windows and all that. So if there is, we'll we'll clean them up at this time and then uh, we'll clean it again and get it ready for some primer. But if everything's okay, which I'm hoping it should be. We will uh, we'll move right on to primer and some kind of custom paint. And I got a pretty cool uh, 
I got a pretty cool paint in mind for this project. I got a new one in I wanted to try out and I think it'd be perfect for this for this build. So we will get to that here directly. Just about got this guy cleaned up. Just want to make sure we get everything off it as much as possible. Uh, we definitely want a good surface for the paint to bond. So here's a look after it's cleaned off. It uh, looks pretty good. We'll get it cleaned off with soapy water and we'll be ready for some primer here. So I'm gonna hit it with some flat black. Uh, I've had really good results with this uh, rattle can primer. Uh, I do like how it, uh, it does dry quickly and it does dry flat. So you can get a good look if there is any issues with the body. After you get the, get the primer on there, if anything needs fixed or sand or fill or whatever. And here's a good look at our prime body. So I got some new splash paints in the other day. And I got this pretty cool color. It's called Torch Chameleon. So it's one of those, um, it's a color shift paint. And it's supposed to go on a black base. Uh, so I figured the uh, flat black base um, should work just as well it didn't say whether it had to be gloss or not and I've I tried them on flat black surfaces before and it turns out pretty good so these splash paints are really really cool products um, one of the cool things about them is they don't need thinned they're right out of the bottle ready so just uh, throw them in your air gun and start painting I think I was using right about 50 psi for this and uh, putting the first tack coat on here you can kind of see that sparkle starting to show up already on just the first coat but this is going to take a handful of coats to get the color right as uh, I'm pretty sure so we're going to go move ahead here with uh, coat two and start laying it on here pretty good make sure we get all the little uh, nooks and crannies on here there's a bunch in this it's kind of an odd shaped body so get it inside out and get everything all around and uh, let it dry <clears throat> this stuff does dry fairly quick so, you know, roughly six, eight, ten minutes, and you can uh, move on to another another coat here. So, this thing's looking good. You can see the color is starting to take shape here. The purple's pretty dominant, but it should look kind of orangish and kind of yellowish. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go one more coat here. Lay it on pretty good. I'm hoping this is gonna be the end of it. Uh, once we once we um, get done with this, we're going to do a couple little chrome details and whatnot, maybe some tail lights, and then we'll clear coat it. Uh, probably at least a couple, two, three coats of clear coat, and let that sit for a day or so, and then we'll be ready to put everything back together. While we're waiting for this body to dry, though, we went ahead and uh, we added our wheels. I do have some pretty cool uh, Real Rider Redline wheels, so we went ahead and added those to our chassis and painted up a little bit on the interior got a chrome skull going on the front with some red eyes painted up the chrome uh, gas tank a little bit here's a look at our chassis i did add some wheel um, some axle tubes for this guy for this build and here's a look at our body fresh um, clear coat it does have a pretty cool color shift too it's kind of like yellow orange to purple um, does look pretty cool. I did put a couple uh, chrome accents on there as well to kind of help everything out. And uh, we're going to start putting this bad boy back together. Uh, wasn't quite sure how I was going to attach our um, our exhaust tubes. Uh, you could you you could tell earlier in the video they were pretty tricky. But what I'm thinking here is uh putting a little of trusty super glue in there and ought to keep them in place so i found uh sticking these exhaust tubes in kind of one layer at a time really made it a lot easier as opposed to putting it all together and then trying to force them through there it really wasn't working too well so i don't get this guy put together i think um really hoping those those, those new wheels are going to really pop on this car, and they really should. You know, especially once we get that big chrome engine in there, everything ought to, <clears throat> ought to start popping. It's it's going to be, it's going to look good. I, I'm confident how it's going to turn out here once I can actually get it all back together. Once we get the exhaust tubes, uh, you know, set in the right place, the rest of it should be fairly easy. 
we'll just screw everything together. I did have to um, I did have to add a mount in the engine in the lower part of the engine and um, drill a hole through the chassis to get that engine to stay in place. So had to an had to add an extra screw on the bottom, but no big deal. It, uh, it it should keep that engine from from wobbling around and whatnot, so kind of had to be done. And uh, you see the little pin there. I did um, I did take a little uh, a little pin and painted it the same as the body with that color shift paint, and that's going to be that's going to be like my little Joker shifter. Um, that'll be kind of like my finishing touch here when it's all said and done. We'll have a big old shift knob sticking out of the convertible. So <clears throat> ought to be pretty cool, kind of rat rod style with a with a pretty kick-ass paint job. So once we get our once we get our screws in here, uh, we'll be able to get a, a little bit better look at what we what we finished up with here. But just about got this thing set in place. Um, I do need to super glue those um, exhaust tubes in. We'll get to that, and then I'll be ready to show you guys the final product. But overall. Um, I believe this project is is going to be done, at least for now. So I didn't have a before picture. I kind of lost that. I don't know what happened to it. I was rushing around and lost it. But you guys all know what a bone shaker looks like starting with. So here's what we finished up with, guys. Um, custom uh, bad to the bone three blind mice invitational here. We got a red line uh, chrome wheel swap. We got a nice big old blower engine swap. Uh, we got some new custom exhaust pipes. We got a pretty cool new color shift paint scheme going on. So I don't know, guys. I think this turned out actually pretty darn cool. Uh, one thing I really wasn't happy with was the the side of the engine bay there. Really, really was unsure what to do with it, and I kind of ran out of time. I was a little rushed here getting this video done, so. I was thinking maybe putting some some kind of wires in there or something, or trying to put some some headers in there or something. But I may uh, I may circle back to this project and and see what I can do to finish it. But other than that, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty awesome. So thanks guys for watching another one of my videos and check out all the other ones. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please hit that like button. And uh, guys, if you like races, I got a lot of cool race videos going on. And um, Check out all the other builders too. I'll be checking them out. Um, should be a fun one. I'm a big fan of the Bone Shaker like everybody else. So, Anyway guys, thanks again and see you on the next build. Talk to you later.